game. There's no mittens. So I, I don't know how you could ever do that. Yeah, I, I would if if you had one for free and you like doom rolled out on on it. But like I don't I I don't imagine a scenario where you really get that much stronger by knighthooding angry. I mean, unless that's how they think they're going to be beating the uh the double book shit, like you just have to hope that the books low roll and buff your board. Which then you wouldn't want angry in the front anyway. I'm so confused. I like cannot express how confused I am. It's like really high, my level of confusion. Uh, if I buy the Billy Goat, I would probably run it. Uh, as the on this turn, I'm just not going to run the Happy Little Tree. Uh, we never have the opportunity to flip a coin to try and not take damage. So it is only relying on them not buying a unit at all. But if I buy the minute, the Billy there, I probably do uh, the other line. Yeah, it's weird. It's such a weird line. Like, I don't like it. Like, maybe it's fine. I don't know. I just, I didn't think it was very good. We're weak to donkey here, but we were going to be weak to donkey basically no matter what we took. But this is a permanent buff on the happy little tree, which I think is fine. I don't really love happy little tree that much on Sphinx, and maybe, maybe I should have picked the Billy into sure shot, buff sure shot, and that would have been fine. Of course, they have the donkey. Obnoxious. It's exactly Donkey that we're weak to there. <sighs> frustrating. Pretty frustrating. Word blows. Yeah, if I don't Falling Stars there, like, our board is also weaker is the problem. But I think if we don't Falling Stars, we probably could have, like, double kissed as well. Like, I was, I was thinking that I needed to buff my attackers in the back row, but... Yeah... fine. It happens. We still got top four. It's fine. The shop is pretty weak. We'll take the EXP, of course. Could have maybe bought the familiar first, but I kind of want to roll for like a creeper or something better than this. I don't hate Brave Princess, but our supports really don't support it properly, so... Hmm. This is not great. Yeah, I mean, I knew that they were dwarves because I, I could see it. But I, I wouldn't... They didn't have an angry at the time. So I couldn't know that they would have bought a knighthooded one that turn. But it was probably rash a little bit, yeah. Well, we won our turn where we got EXP and rolled once, so so that's nice. <sighs> Double donkey's kind of awkward with what we have. It gives it's like no direction line. I really like earthquake. I like the healing potion as well. If we'd picked up the familiar, man, fuck.
Alright, this is our line. And we'll have to see what our next shop spells are. Yeah. I mean, it, like, if we grab Creeper or something, it's really good. If we don't, it's really rough. But I, I do think the Pig is probably better than Vampire, and Earthquake has a decent chance of being really good against Sadrak. Like, if they, if they left whatever shitter in front, like, it can just kill it. I don't know if this is going to be enough, especially if we lose that unit, but... Shoot this way. Shoot this way. We could have won that so often. Fuck. That blows. Like, we win that a lot, in fact. We could pick up the Vulture Peep. It's not really that strong, but... We need, we need this tree support. Or we need a four that actually gives direction. Likely we are going to see none of them and then just die. Excellent. It does seem to be the case. I mean, do we pick up fucking Mad Mem? This is why I hate trees on Sphinx, because they are low tempo units if you miss. Yeah, maybe. Probably could have bought the other one. We're gonna take so much damage here. This game has not gone very well. At least our pig saved us a little bit of health there. Three, six, take nine. So we could Baba Lance. I don't know if that makes us that much stronger though. It is a very early lance. This is 4.0, by the way. We could probably full-on scale up lance with this board. We could even lock for the Siren, potentially. Like, if we're not picking this up, like, what are we doing? Fucking nothing. We have to sell... Probably the Mim. Could be this. Yeah, we're just, like, not doing anything, so it would be nice to do something. Ooh, that fireball was fucking rough, though. Our opponent's units are so much smarter than our units. It's ridiculous. They die. Oh, no, they don't, because we're only four. I do think I take a Siren. It's just, like, a lot of stats. I 
mix this thing. I mean, it's more useful than the pig, right? Yeah, random fives are just better than our board for sure. It's like a 16-13. We can't quite get it this turn, no matter what, right? Yeah, I think we just pig Lance. We could have mixed the Siren into a 6, yeah. My thought was that the Siren was just, like, stronger than um, anything else that we were doing. I don't know if we need the Shoulder Fairies, but it's like a big pile of stats. Oh, we stole a creeper. Nice. That's so sick. Okay, so I have a line. It's probably Monkey's Paw. But the Saber is also very good. Paw is better if, with the Shoulder Fairies immediately, so I think that's where I'm going to go. We don't really need these anymore. Like at all. Like, this is just bigger than anything else that our opponent is doing. We don't really need the Apple Bomb right now. Honestly, Grim Soul would be what I would be looking for. Kind of weird. I'll also take another Baba, maybe another Siren. Just looking for the triple. probably do this, but I didn't really want to lock XP. We're fine on 5 for right now. Oh, sad. We missed it by just one. I'd like to steal, like, the book. They respawn to the donkey with the earthquake. Okay. So, we don't want to cast this. Could get a tier 3 treasure. It's not a bad one either. And then we're going to kidnap, I think. Is it something like this? Do we want more in the front row? I, I do still think this is the better lineup, right? Because we want the... We want the Siren to get... Uh, the first attack in the back row over the Baba. Could even be this, with the Mummy in the back. Just to try and close. I don't hate that. Might want to, why would I want to sell one of the trees? Oh, if... No, it's fine. If they get us with that, they get us with that. It's unlikely that that's going to happen against Midas. The Friendly Spirit would have been a good pickup there. 
We're a little bit small. The, the siren needs to be upgraded in order for it to actually get our sleighs, I think. Uh, this is really bad for us, but I think we're going to be big enough here. We get a Juliet, which isn't really ideal. I think we just roll. Alright, so we can definitely find a tier 7 treasure. Especially since they're dead. Honestly, I might... I, I actually don't hate Sphinx as hero power. Like, what are we switching into? There's so many bad ones. Hmm, unfortunate. Alright, well, maybe I'm dumb, okay? I don't know what you want from me. Uh, this was Juliet. We can just dump this and these two trees because we don't really need them. We'll just buy it now. Uh, I guess it's just Holy Grail. Mirror Mirror is also very strong, but our comp is kind of bad, so... I don't really need to lock this anymore, then. Uh, like, I would I would knighthood, but none of the things on here are knighthood-worthy. Or at least they're not what I want to be knighthooding. I mean, we, not, we might not end up in fairies, though. We might end up finding a bunch of good boys and bear steens and just end up in that. We're not sure what we're going to be yet. It wouldn't it won't cost zero gold next turn. Is the problem. Look, we don't need that stupid brain. These we want. Uh, get this fucking thing out of here. Need some sixes. Hello? Uh, this is another six. Grumblegore is another six. We have a lot of sixes and no pairs. Uh, fuck that dragon. Okay, so we're going to probably play Shoulder Fairies, given what we've hit so far. Should have bought that potion. If I see another Knighthood, I'm probably going to use it. Annoyed. Why does this have so little attack? Oh, because I cut my evil. Oh, man. Really fucked ourselves there by not finding an Ashwood, huh? Like, it should be good enough for this turn, but, like, we'll have to see if this gives us box or not, or a uh, round table. Prism. Uh, Ambrosia, I guess. We need more evil attack. <laughs> like... A lot. Yeah, we can grumble. We can echo, like...
I don't mind the echo, but we really were sort of inting our black prism here. Maybe it doesn't matter. We could just put in Doom Breath. Okay, so we don't actually need the Green Knight in. No, it's only targeted spells with the Black Prism. And it specifically says on yours. If I cut Baba Yaga... Then this is the same attack. Probably could have taken that Storm King as well. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I think it's mostly ignore Black Prism until we have the ability to do something with it. We're just like too far away from a comp that can use it. Yeah, we really need an Ashwood for sure. I mean, we're strong. Like, we're not weak here. It just it could be stronger. I don't think we can afford to kiss our whole team. Or mix our whole team, to be honest. This we could do, though. Then we have no good. We have no health. Maybe we can't do that. Oh no, yeah we would. The Lancelot would still be awesome, right? Yeah, it's fine because the Lancelot would still be awesome. Is there a way that I can do it to maximize our spots to do it? Um, so let's Singing Sword over Monkey's Paw. We can Feather over Ambrosia. Uh, we can probably Wand over Prism. Okay, so let's figure out how we're going to do this. So we have Evil Echoes. We can buy that other shoulder fairies. This can give us more health as well. Probably just lock, huh? We don't actually lose out on anything. All we do is gain. We just, we don't need... Like, we can run the green knight now instead of the dragon if we want. Like, we can do this. And it's the same... These things should be gigantic, right? Like, they're gonna immediately be huge. I, I'm not sure about my positioning or what units we're running. But these should be quite fucking large. I'm not sure my positioning is right on these. I, it weirdly goes in attack order for how these happen. I think I can make it so that the... I think I can make it so that this Shoulder Fairy sees this one. Or that it sees one of these. I'm not really sure how to do it. I wish Dark Twinge was around to tell me how to do this properly. Like, you can position these in such a way that, like, it gets, it counts, like, the attack on the ones in the back or something. It's okay, we don't have to deal with it anymore. Okay, so this Barristeen doesn't matter. Uh, this other Green Knight doesn't matter. Uh, this extra Lance doesn't matter, and this Robin one doesn't really matter. So we'll buy this and roll. Probably don't need Robin Wood, huh? We can make one of these good. 
Is that better than night hitting one of these? Probably. Maybe we night hit it this turn and we make a good next turn. Like, I think we just make this good. We int like a thousand gold and I want to see what it does because I don't know. Yeah, now this one just has infinite more stats, and so do these. I, I don't need Prism. I wanted to make one of them good. I didn't want to make all of them good, I just wanted to make one of them good. Because it's going to get the stats from one of these, and then it puts it on this one. Because now we can do this, and then it should... Oh, to knighthood all of them, sure. Y yeah, if, if we had knighthood all, I would have I would have done that last turn. That's better, certainly. Cause this will put this the health here and then here puts it on these two. Maybe we're supposed to do it like this. Then this puts 180 on this, and then it's double, double, doubled. I I, I don't know the numbers. <laughs> I'm not smart enough for this. Uh. It's only because they're alignmented. Because these are because this one's good. No, we, we can't echo before fairies. We have to... Because the fairies are what's triggering and then echo woods. It, the echo woods trigger last always. But I think what it means is we're supposed to have the echoes both in front. And then the fairies in back. And then that makes these the biggest possible when these are triggering. We'll see. if We'll see how big these are. But I think, I think this position is right. It honestly maybe could have been this one here, but I think this is the best way to position it, right? Because then this goes off, which gives some stats to both of these, and then this one happens, which doubles it, and then this one happens, because it's seeing these two. I should clip this game and send it to Twinge. I think he would get a kick out of it. No, Echo always triggers last. Well, I mean, Echo triggers while stats are happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, it'll go this, this, then this. So it's more relevant that these two have alignment than the other ones. Yeah, let me, let me mark that. Um, clip this game for... Yeah, so the reason that it affects it in specific...